Hi Virgo, this is Crystal Rose with Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. I'm going to start with the Crystal Unicorn Tarot by Pamela Chen and I'm going to finish with the Angel Answers by Radley Valentine. There you go. And let's see what we have for you. Um, if you haven't watched before, I thank you for being here. And um, know that every once in a while I will come up with a random song and some lyrics. I like to have music on in the background when I'm shuffling so I can get um, other messages while I'm channeling and shuffling. Okay. So let's see. Um, fascinating. Very fascinating. All right, Virgo. Why are you confused, lost, lying to yourself, denying something? What is this? I see you wanting something. You're keeping it hidden for now. It's very quiet on your end. You have a problem you need to solve. You want to work with somebody. You want to go in that direction. And you want to magically make this happen. I don't yet see action happening, though. I see someone who's manifesting. Please let me get through this and fix it and solve my problem and make this right. Okay? So let's see what else. Mm -hmm. um, there's some deception involved here. You want a new beginning. So I feel like that's the thing that you're not saying to yourself, to other people. I want a new beginning. I want a king in my life that's passionate or, or you know, a queen. I want somebody who takes charge and lives like I do. Someone who is equally passionate and forward moving like I am. Not somebody who's just taking that passionate energy from me, but is also providing it. Uh, yeah, because this is leaving you in a ho-hum kind of state where you're at now. So whether you're single or with somebody, it does not matter. You're living in a space of, yeah, um, this really wouldn't be very fulfilling for me if I got on plenty of fish or was, you know, um, staying in this situation until the day I die. Like this is not, it's, it's boredom. It's withdrawing from a situation emotionally. It's being dissatisfied with the current scenario. And so what's going to make you happy, honestly, is going on a new journey, starting a new mission, like beginning to take care of your own financial situation and take care of you is going to be the most fulfilling thing at this point. Because right now it looks like you're stuck in a situation where you're begging for passion, but um, you might be staying for finances. And you don't really need that. You just need to be willing to move forward and go on a new journey. Okay, let me go back to this money thing here. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles, Spirit. Yeah, yes, there is an idea, there's a hope, there is a, an offer of love and a gift coming towards you. I feel like somebody's coming towards you that's going to say something. Wow, these are counterparts. Let me show you the gift. <laughs> so this is the energy of that you're headed towards by saying, I want real passion, not just bullshit that I've settled for or have had in the past. This is the cosmos conspiring in your favor, filling you up completely in every way is what I'm hearing. Not just, oh, I have money and I'm secure here, or there's passion over here and we have great sex. It's all in one scenario, one thing, right? Um, there's the love offer. There's the gift. This is something that's really, really beautiful. I mean, wow. So where you're at now looks pretty lame compared to where you're headed. <laughs> um, and here's what's really exciting for me, or for you, rather. I get I get personally involved in your reading, so like this is exciting for me too, okay? Um, you have counterparts here. I have the king and queen of swords. So these are two people, soulmates, connected they need to talk they need to say things to each other they need to say what happened what's been going on you know what let me look just show me the conversation spirit show me why these two people need to talk oh because you need to come together that's your partner that's your soulmate 
this is someone who's gonna marry you. They wanna be with you, you guys wanna celebrate together, you both want this, okay? So, what's gonna, what has to shift? That's what I wanna know. What has to shift in order for you to let go and move forward? What has to shift? Making the choice, making the choice to let go and to heal and to stop forcing a wrong situation to be okay. Go for the new beginning. Start a new business, make a love offer to somebody else. Just do something different and better for you. Not waiting for someone else to fix it for you. Do it for you. Do what makes you happy. Change jobs. But really, you're waiting for someone to come make this right for you. So I'm going to say, let me pull one card for your energy on what you need to focus on. Taking care of your own responsibilities and being a teacher. If you have some wisdom to share, they're, the divine is calling you out to go teach and go share with other people what you've learned on your journey. And be responsible for yourself. Take on the extra responsibility of self-care because you're taking your power back for you instead of handing it to other people to take care of you, okay? Now, the great thing is by you just kind of like taking responsibility, I'm not asking you to like take out another job and pay all your own bills and do it like, yes, but it's not like you have to work harder for it or it's just the energy naturally clears up to where you're not responsible for all this other shit by detaching from this person and just um, focusing on what makes you happy, working the way you want to work, not because you think you have to be somewhere in order to work with the current person you're working with now. And I don't mean work together, I just mean like, I have to keep my job so I can stay in this relationship because we pay bills together. No, this is, I'm gonna set myself free, take care of my own shit, I don't care whatever you do, you go do you, because I'm moving on. And, um, yeah, taking care of business and really romancing yourself by like doing what lights you up and serving yourself in a career that makes you really happy. So I highly suggest starting something that's your own endeavor, start your entrepreneurial thing, or at least be very willing to let go of your current romantic situation and truly heal and say, I don't want this anymore. We're going to be roommates for now while I go look for something else or at least work on healing myself and stop pretending that this is okay. Yes, make an active plan and get ready to move forward and just deal with the feelings of passion leaks is how spirit wants me to say this. Um, song that's on is Fort Minor. Remember the name. Uh, let's see. What does it say? It looks like a wrap, so I got to slow this down for a second. Got him out of the dryer, he's hot. Found him in the Fort Minor with talk. What a fucking nihilist porcupine. He's a prick. He's a cock. Woo. The type women want to be with and rappers hope he gets shot. Eight years in the making, patiently waiting to blow. Now the record with Shinoda's taken over the globe. He's got a partner in crime. His shit is equally dope. You won't believe this kind of shit that comes out this kid's throat. He's not your everyday on the block. He knows how to work with what he's got, making his way to the top. He often gets a comment on his name. People keep asking him, was it given at birth or does it stand for an acronym? No, he's living proof. Got him rocking the booth. He'll get you buzzing quicker than a shot of vodka with juice. Him and his crew are known around as one of the best, dedicated to what they do and give 100%. Forget Mike. Nobody really knows how hard or why he works so hard. It seems like he's never got time because he writes every note and he writes every line and I've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind. It's like a design is written in his head every time before he even touches a key or speaks in a rhyme and those motherfuckers he runs with, the kids that he signed, ridiculous without even trying. How'd they do it? This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 50% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. Uh, remember the name. You want people to remember your name. Not your situation. Not your partner's name. Be known for what you fucking did. Okay? 
What? Yes, this is the truth. Page of Swords, speaking up, calling the shots, speaking your truth, taking charge. All right, what else do you need to know? Yeah, this is your tower moment. This is the shakeup. It's time to end this. It's time. You got to make room for something else. And what's something else? I know I already pulled the counterparts. A new love offer. Get ready. So start cleaning up the mess. Start cleaning up the mess. What happens when you clean up the mess? <laughs> then you're afraid of money and you're, you're, you just refuse to look at this. You refuse to change your situation. It's up to you. There's love there, but you got to be willing to let go. You got to say, I'm done. I'm done with feeling like this person doesn't fight for me in the way that they're supposed to. I'm done feeling like this person is only good for sex, but not taking care of me, not honoring me, not respecting me. I dropped a card on the floor and it was the King of Cups. You really deserve to have love. This is the one I pulled earlier. You deserve to have love. You deserve to be the king or queen of your own domain and really like love your home. And you're not having that right now. Let me get you some advice from the Angel Answers Oracle card. Let's see, what do we got here? <clears throat> I'm hearing that song. Uh, I can't think of his name. So light him up, 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 light him up, 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 light him up, 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 it's on fire. We're on fire. Light him up, 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 light him up. Yes, brilliant idea. You are definitely supposed to go start your own thing, for sure. Archangel Uriel. Uriel is the archangel of career ideas and forward movement. Also, if you've had lights going out, light bulbs, um breaking or burning out, um, Uriel does that. So if that's been happening in your home, it's because Archangel or Uriel is really asking you to get started on your entrepreneurial idea. Start doing something to take care of you so you don't get stuck in relationships that don't, or careers that don't feel good to you and aren't fulfilling, right? It's going to take time and effort. Yes, it's not an overnight thing. But how long have you been doing what you're doing now that came and went, right? That time has already passed. What are you going to do to change it moving forward, right? Archangel Yuri says, uh, Uriel says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So whatever that business idea was, get cracking. I highly encourage you to get going on that. Free yourself. Do something new. Uh, I'm hearing one more because... You're tripping right now. And the song that came on is little by Little Mix called Wings. No matter what you say, it won't hurt me. Don't matter if I fall from the sky. These wings are made to fly. I'm firing up on that runway. I know we're going to get there someday, but we don't need no ready, steady, go. No. Talk, talk turns into air. And I don't even care. Your words don't mean a thing. I'm not listening. You're waiting for someone else to move life along. And you're the one that's going to make life move along. You're the leader. You're not meant to let other people move your life along. You're meant to be in charge, okay? Clairsentience, what you're feeling, right? Archangel Raguel, notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So let your body tell you when you're focused on the right thing because when you're focused on the wrong thing, your body's going to shut the fuck down and it's going to feel ugly. You'll feel nauseous. You'll feel bloated. I see some of you getting constipated. That was out of left field. Um, it really stops your whole body from moving forward. So feel that feeling. And when you're thinking about an idea, oh, that'd be really cool if one day I did a business like this and your body lights up and you get excited, follow the idea. You don't, you don't need anybody else to support your crazy. I support your crazy. It's all good here. This is the place to be. <laughs> if you love this channel, please hit the subscribe button. It's the little red button. And I promise to keep encouraging you're crazy because that's what we need in this world. People doing good shit, right? I'm going to leave it there. If this resonated or you'd like a personal reading, please go to ComfySoul.com. Here's a link in the description below if you want to go there. And you can also download a um, free Angels in Your Pocket guide booklet 
that you can print out and fold up and keep in your purse or wallet it. So that's on ComfySoul.com. You can find that there. I thank you so, so much for watching and supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Bye.